Hi everybody, it's Graham here and uh, I've got another product review for you. This is a bit different, this one. It's uh, Pauline's birthday today, that's my wife, and uh, she's got a special birthday. Um, I won't tell you what it is, but it's quite a significant one. Um, so, uh, we're in lockdown, this is 2020, and it's in November when I'm filming this, and uh, we're in lockdown. So I can't take her for a posh fancy meal to a nice restaurant. So uh, I had a look online and I found this. It's called Steen's at Home. So it's Rick Steen, or Rick Stein, is that how you say it? Not sure. Uh, anyway, the famous chef from um, Cornwall. He's got a restaurant down there. You may have seen him on TV. Uh, and you can get these meals delivered to your house. Um, so yeah, I thought this is a good idea. Um, you, you do it all online, you get this, you, it's got several menus, you get them online and um, uh, you, you get them delivered to your house. You, you get everything you need uh, to cook a nice three course meal at home. Fairly expensive but then if you went to a nice restaurant, it would be expensive, wouldn't it? Especially a Rick Steen restaurant. So, uh, yeah, so this is it. Uh, it comes in a box like this. What does this say here? Our menu boxes bring Rick Steen res restaurant dining straight to you with the best quality sustainable products carefully prepared by our chefs in Cornwall for you to finish at home. So, yeah. They do these um, these boxes, and uh, you get everything you need, and uh, you can go online and, and get a video of, uh, to show you exactly how to cook it. But I think it's going to be quite simple. Hopefully, it is anyway. So let's have a look inside the box. So here we are. This particular recipe we've got, or I've got for Pauline, is the starter is Moules Marinier. That tells you everything you need to know. Uh, the main course is Indian seafood curry and the dessert is passion fruit eaten mess. So let's have a look what's inside the box. We've got the menu with all the instructions on there on the back. That's the dessert by the looks of it. The uh, passion fruit eaten mess. Uh, I've got a bottle of chilled wine that's to uh, not only to drink but also to put in the uh, moules marinier so that's the mussels cooked in wine and we've got a nice sort of uh, cool bag there keeps everything cool. What we've got in here? Some herbs, parsley I think As I say, I'm not sure what that is. All the ingredients there. That looks like some fine beans. Some more ingredients there. So, looks like you've got everything you need. What's this? See what that says, keepers of the cream. That looks like it's yeah, double cream. Um, rice. That looks like it might be the curry sauce. Again, packet of sauce. Coconut milk. And here's the fish, Indonesian curry mix. It's got the fish in there and everything. It's got some prawns as well by the looks of it. A couple of passion fruit, that's for the uh, dessert.
and these will be the live rope grown mussels. And last is that looks like an um, an ice bag to help it keep it chilled. But I'm sure all the instructions will be in there. And uh, oh, as, as I say, there's a video as well you can look at. So, what does it say for the Mool's Marinier? Open the chilled wine, pour into a glass and enjoy. Chop the parsley, eat the comfit onions on medium heat until all the butter is melted. Add the mussels and coat in the buttermilk. Add a splash of wine and turn the heat up and add a little and add the lid. After two minutes take a peek. So yeah, gives you all the instructions anyway. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. I'm gonna we're gonna do this tonight. So um we'll show you what it uh, what it's like when it's done and, and, and let you know how easy it is. So keep watching. Right, we're just starting the uh, the starter, which is mussels, uh, mulled marinier. Now, all the ingredients come in um, like th this um, onion and butter mix. This is um, this came in a, a plastic bag like that, and the mussels came um, in a container like that. So all the ingredients are either in plastic bags or pots or. And you've got everything, absolutely everything you need, including the wine, um, which we've we've already started. Must admit, we've already started the wine. So we've got our dishes there. Oh, we've we've chopped some parsley. Um, so yeah, we're getting on with the starter now. So uh, yeah, let's see what it comes out like. There we are. Then that's the first uh, course successfully made. Oh, it's steamed up. Uh, yeah, Moore's Marinier, and we'll see what that's like, and then on to the second course. Right, we've put the fish in the pan, and uh, with the uh, curry sauce, so that's bubbling away now. Uh, that takes about four or five minutes, and then we're going to put the rice, boil in a bag of rice, into the water, into the boiling water, and that takes another two minutes. So uh, yeah, hopefully, in a short while we'll have our curry. These are the uh, salad ingredients. Uh, it's uh, green beans and uh, lots of other bits and bobs with a, a dressing. Uh, yeah, salad ingredients are green beans, shredded coconut, fried shallots, Indian curry paste dressing. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, salad that goes with it. There we are. Then there's our uh, Indonesian fish curry with green bean salad. Looks rather nice, don't it? Uh, hopefully we'll enjoy that. A nice glass of wine. Well, the proof in the pudding, as I say, is in the eating. So, yeah, that was uh, really nice, actually. It was uh, Indonesian seafood curry. And uh, the fish, it was sea bass, cod pra and prawns in a curry sauce with a um, green bean um, salad with a dressing. Yeah, that was really nice. So, hmm. Uh, what's next? Yeah, onto the onto the sweet now, which is passion fruit eaten mess. Looking forward to that. Okay, it's time for the dessert, and uh, what we've got is meringue, some cream which I've poured into a bowl, vanilla sugar, and some passion fruits. So what we're making is passion fruit eaten. <laughs> Uh, I'm being prompted here from the from the side. Passion fruit eaten mess. So uh, yeah, let's give this a go then. 
So there we have it then, passion fruit eaten mess. So well, it's very quite quite simple. This this um, dessert is you just crumble the um, meringue into the cream, which which you have to whip up. That's quite uh, tiring. Makes your arm ache. That does. So so you crumble the meringue into the uh, whipped cream with the uh, vanilla sugar, and then uh, drizzle it with the uh, passion fruit. Uh, when when that's been scooped out, so yeah, that looks lovely. That does. So all in all, then this meal, uh, I've been quite impressed. I've 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 really uh, we really like it, and we, it's it's all been really good. The the one thing I would say is that um, at some of our ingredients didn't come labelled, so it was a little bit hard to see what was in the. Uh, in the tubs and things uh, but it was easy it was in the end we managed to uh, work out what it was but it would have been help for it to be labeled um, so yeah that's that's it that's a uh, it's a Rick Steen um, cooking at home thing so if you I'll put a, um, a, a link on the bottom of the video if you're interested in that this uh, this meal cost us, um, for a three course meal, it cost us £55 um, for all the ingredients. You get all the ingredients and all the instructions, um, even down to the bottle of wine to put it to, to because you need wine to put in the mus mussels. So we, we drank the rest, you only need a glug of wine in the mussels, but we drank the rest of it, which was, <laughs> and it was really nice wine as well. So uh, yeah, that's it, it's Rick Steen's uh, cooking at home. Uh, and have a look at the link at the bottom of the in the description if you want to uh, have a go with that. Okay, that's it for now. Cheers, and uh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to eat this now and then have a, a nice cup of coffee afterwards. Cheers for now. Bye.